you. So we refer to SACNAS as a scientific society, and for good reason. As you've seen over the last couple of days, the caliber of science presentations, the workshops have been outstanding. There's no compromise or watered down science here. The posters and the talks, many of the, which you have presented here, are at the forefront of their fields. Within SACNAS, we must always have a culture of pushing the boundaries. It must be part of our DNA. In fact, it's because of this level of science, math, and engineering that I see here that I cringe when I read reports that employers can't find enough diverse STEM within the United States. I see them every year, and I see thousands of future employees right here in front of me. Employees that will bring unique experiences from their upbringing and the environments that they grew in. Employees that will represent diverse thought and approaches to problem solving from their own communities. At the same time, we must demand employers to seek and support employees that will not have to leave their culture or identities at the door, but who will be able to bring their full selves to the table in order to help drive innovation and progress in the US. When I was a child, there was a 10-part BBB series on television that captured my imagination, and it played a big role in me wanting to be a scientist. It was called Connections by James Burke. And if you haven't seen it, I would recommend going out and buying it. It's on Amazon, you can find it there. And it describes this, this really this inter interconnection that leads from one technological advancement to another over history. And Burke ended this series by making profound predictions about the increasingly interconnected and complicated world where information would be key to progress. And of course, he was right. Information has become central to all that we do, and the world becomes more and more complex and interdependent every day. The implication was that those that have access to information and those that are educated enough to understand it will shape the future. Therefore, we need to understand, we need to ensure that all our communities are represented in STEM and that no one is left behind from helping direct this future. So I will leave you with a quote from one of our country's founding fathers, John Adams. He says, now to what higher object, to what greater character can any mortal aspire than to possess of all this knowledge, well digested and ready at command? When I look out over this audience, I see amazing work that you are all doing. And I can't help feeling reassured that in fact we will not be left behind. It has really been my pleasure to serve as SACNAS president these past years. I thank you.